The year was 1979. No one was thinking about global warming. Margaret Thatcher was prime minister. Michael Jackson was on the radio. Ronald Reagan had just been elected. Daisy Duke was on TV. Los Angeles was the only major city in America that did not have a contemporary art museum. With the help of Mayor Tom Bradley, a group of artists and collectors came together to found MOCA, the Museum of Contemporary Art. It helped establish Los Angeles as one of the major capitals of the art world through groundbreaking exhibitions such as WAC, Emory Douglas, Reconsidering the Object of Art, The Architecture of R.M. Schindler, Cindy Sherman, Retrospective, Robert Smithson, and the Artists' Museum. MOCA has been called one of the best museums in the world for contemporary art. But what is contemporary art? The word contemporary means of our time. So contemporary art is art that's made now and in the recent past. We define that as art made after 1940, so not the Mona Lisa. It's new. It's made with non-traditional materials or with non-traditional techniques. It makes you think. Often the ideas are as important as what you see. It uses all kinds of media, including installation, video, painting, sculpture, photography, and it doesn't even have to be inside the museum. What are the goals of the museum? To collect and exhibit contemporary art. Coleccionar y exhibir arte contemporáneo. To preserve the art for future generations. Preservar el arte para futuras generaciones. To present contemporary art to the public. Presentar arte contemporáneo al público. That's you. Tú. MOCA has three different locations. The first, the Geffen Contemporary at MOCA in Little Tokyo. This was a former warehouse renovated by Frank Gehry to become an exhibition space. The second is our main location, known as MOCA Grand Avenue. It is also located downtown and was designed by architect Arata Isazaki. Our third location is on the west side at the Pacific Design Center. This was designed by Cesar Pelli. Ready? One, two, three. Rules! MOCA's goals are to collect, preserve, and present art to the public. Based on these goals, we've developed some rules. Rule number one, do not touch the art. Regla número uno, no tocar el arte. Artworks are unique objects that cannot be replaced or reproduced. They are made by artists, some of whom may no longer be alive. We need to help protect the art so that people will continue to share it with us. Touching any work of art damages it, whether you can see that damage or not. Rule number two, do not touch the walls. Regla número dos, no tocar las paredes. The walls are painted white so that you can focus on the art. No matter how clean your hands are, you still leave marks if you touch the walls. Imagine if everyone touched them. It would be a mess. Also, you might hit an artwork by mistake. When the walls get dirty, they have to be repainted. This is difficult to do around an artwork. And it takes time and money away from more important things. Rule number three, stay 18 inches away from the artwork. Regla número 3. 18 pulgadas de distancia del arte. So that we don't accidentally touch the work, we ask that everyone stay 18 inches away. 18 inches is a foot and a half. Security officers are there to remind us to keep this distance for our safety and for the safety of the art. Rule number 4. No food, drinks, or gum. Regla número 4. No comida, bebida, o chicle. Oh. Rule number five. Please leave backpacks and large bags behind. Regla número cinco. Por favor, no traer mochilas ni bolsos grandes. Hopefully, you've left your bag on the bus. 
but if you bring it to the museum, you'll be asked to leave it in a designated area. It's easy to forget how far your bag sticks out. If you have a bag in the gallery, you might hit an artwork. Your tour! The objectives of the tour are for you to look at, think about, and discuss the work of art with one another. Therefore, we will look closely at the art together and have a conversation about what we see. The educator is really interested in what you think and will mostly be asking questions to get you talking about what you observe. In the old days, museums used to think that the best way to do art education was to give people lots of facts and explain the art to them. Recent studies reveal people actually don't learn very much that way. For us, the most important thing in art education is learning how to think for yourself. On our tour, we look closely at each piece and have an in-depth conversation. Looking, thinking, and discussing take time. You'll discover more about the work of art the longer you actively look at it. We discovered that this is the best way to learn about art. Remember, everyone will have different opinions. It's okay to agree or disagree, or even not to like something. Just explain why based on what you see. To get the most out of your experience, it's really important to participate, to listen to one another, and to respect each other's opinions. Together, we can come up with a richer understanding of the work of art than any of us could by ourselves. Thanks, we can't wait to see you.